are in the hostel or even though you know those who are at home so don't have food fadism so eat nutritious food keep away you know don't think that eating uh, nutritious food drinking milk makes you put on weight i know you're all beauty conscious now at this age of course but it's the right eating habit that really makes you or uh, makes you look beautiful so balanced diet i tell you you if you are healthy today so even when at the age of 50 60 70 you'll be healthy so you need to start your health program from now on so eat a healthy diet drink milk eat fruits take lot of vegetables this is a food for concentrating mind too so lot of distractions you get so if you eat a banana and come to the class to attend so what does your mind do so mind keeps you right puts you off the sleep when you cannot get concentration this the lot of foods which are really you know taking you away from that so you should you should know when to eat what to eat and what not to eat so food is one thing so 52% of our population especially the teenagers women children so they are anemic you know that is the big problem our country is facing so you are all future mothers so if you are healthy so we can look at a progeny the new born which is really healthy so food is very very important even for uh, uh, boys so it's not just the food that keeps you healthy so it, another thing is exercise you know so one uh, event again i said uh, you know bit running uh, what is that bit run so let this bit run be in your daily schedule so the more you exercise the more you are healthy so it is not just eating so you need to join any gym or anything so it's a huge campus that is here so park your vehicles and then see that you walk around or run around your campus so right foot then exercise so this walking or exercise physical exercise gives you lot of relaxation to your mind too so it is it is not just you know to keep the right height or the weight whatever so when you eat i tell you many of you need to take food that is rich in iron so we are all into the new era so our, you know the time with our lifestyle has changed what we eat is also different we are all fond of having juice you know, see any juice center here in bit road it is full say no to juice start having fruits if at all if you want to have juice so you go back and prepare that with jaggery you know, none of us use jaggery those who are at home at least you know so the lime juice made out of jaggery so that is a rich source of iron so the lemon which is put into it favors and helps iron absorption so right food exercise and for concentration you know meditation and keep doing good things so study so be punctual be disciplined and have lot of self con self confidence which is very very essential don't just compare yourself to anybody and feel bad so each one of you is unique you have a unique characteristic within you that probably somebody may by you know somebody uh, you need somebody to recognize your talent or whatever that is within you so don't just compare yourself with anybody so if it all if it's a healthy competition yes and it, it should not be just in the way of getting marks you should not say he or she has got a distinction and that best by distinction by one mark or two marks and feel depressed and go and commit suicide no life is something different we are all born as human beings please value that life it is it's it's beautiful so do something good keep on doing something good so it starts at your student life itself and this is the age for you to get into all other distracting activities so please say no to it 
say strongly no to it. It may be because of peer pressure and those who reside in the hostel probably have more of this pressure. It all depends on your friendship, the friend circle. That's why we say, tell me who your friends are, I'll tell you who you are. So have good friends, very, very essential. So don't get into all this, you know, habits of smoking, drinking, eating gurkha. You know, all your boys may feel this is a special, uh, it's like a feather in their cap or a prestigious issue to smoke, to drink. And this gurkha has entered into even teenage, not even teenagers, the high school children. So there are all bad habits, say uh, no to it. So understand how it is going to damage our body. It's really not a prestigious issue for you to smoke stylishly in front of girls. I don't think, uh, you know, they like you if you are smoking. And none of the girls also at the same time get into this. I'm seeing Davangere girls also, you know, who are following whatever, you know, style and uh, campus, you know, how uh, your sir observe how the children in Bangalore in a particular college are different from this. So this trend has started now. All that is bad. So it may just give you temporary satisfaction or you may feel proud, but once you become an addict, it's very, very difficult to come out of it. So see that as Abdul Kalam puts it, you see that two, at least, at least two of the people are taken away or de-addicted by you. So maintain your surroundings clean. So have lot of discipline. So respect yourself, have self-confidence. You can do anything. As Obama puts it, he said, I can do it. You say, I can do it, I will do it, I must do it. So that should be your uh, motto. Anything and everything is possible only if you make up your mind. So believe in your strengths, what strength you have. So faith is one thing. So if you forget, so when somebody had to cross, you know, when Rama and they were all meeting, they all met together and discussing about who has to go and get Sita. So nobody had knew the strength, like even Anjaneya didn't know that he had the strength, you know, to just to cross this ocean with one leap. So it was Jambavanta who just made him realize his, you know, he aroused that Thing. So he showed him the strength. So all of you are definitely have one of the other good qualities. So it's not just your curricular activities and scoring marks. So be the best human beings on earth, which is very, very essential. So train your mind. So mind don't be ruled, you know, you know how, what you need to do, you know, control your mind. That is possible, it's very, very, uh, easy also if you follow certain uh, uh, techniques and it is said that strong people make many mistakes as weak people but the difference is that strong people admit their mistakes and laugh at them learn from them so that is how they become strong so if at all if you fail in one examination so just failure in examination is not failure in your life so learn from that failure just find out why you have failed and how you can get more marks or whatever. No failure in life is something different from failure in an examination. So find out the cause, learn. So learning is a continuous process. So each day we keep on learning. So then patience and perseverance have magical effect before which difficulties disappear and obstacles vanish. So you take up a particular goal or whatever, see that you reach the goal. So it is possible and this forum is going to provide you, for, you know, opportunities for your overall development. So I see in so many uh, of these companies, you know, where they're not just looking at your marks, they look at the overall development of the individual. So I've seen uh, a place where, you know, it starts they, they just make, uh, they read your personality by your handwriting. So some companies have made it very uh, compulsory that you need to apply, you know, in your own handwriting. See, that is how you are assessed. You are assessed totally as an individual and not just by the marks you get. So it could be just, you know, one uh, of the feature. So eat right for 
So be attentive in the class because attention improves retention. So for that you need to concentrate. So you all come here to and join this profession and you are here in this college for four years. See that at the end of four years. I, I don't think your teachers want you to stay here for a longer time. So they'll not be waiting to kick you out. So four years, none of your teachers want you here. So right on time. So go back and join your parents as a profession, a professional individual, you know, having become an engineer. So set your goals. So have a timetable every day. So whatever distracts, you're all students. So you are not, your lot of time is supposed to be devoted for studies. So don't just, you know, get distractions. So your internets, mobiles and TV and all that. So they should be there. So it is just like a pickle that gives you taste for your food. So we cannot keep on eating pickle instead of no, rice or sambar or chapati or whatever. So that has to be there, but don't make that the soul. So it takes away so much of your time, not just time. So it absorbs the energy, takes away your energy. So much of time is spent on SMS. You just calculate how much you know time is spent. So student life is really the golden life. See, so use it properly. Gold is very, very expensive. So spend it properly. So time management, discipline. So what you eat and how you exercise, how you concentrate, everything builds your personality. So I wish you all the best. And don't ever be a coward in your life. So this cowardness I mean to say when you think of committing suicide or ending your life. So if at all, you know, mind I told you is like a monkey, restless, so it wanders, it's a lot of thoughts, you know, keep coming in. So there will be you know, thoughts which are uh, wanting you, which you want and which you depress you or uh, whatever. So please keep, you know, have a limit to all that. So don't ever think of ending your life by committing suicide. So life is beautiful. So if you cannot probably proceed further with your engineering course, you can really do something else. So value life. So love your parents. Respect them. At the same time, consider all your teachers. Though we are in professional college, we always you know, look at you as children. So respect all your teachers till you are in. That's very essential for you to progress in your life. So have a wonderful journey through your engineering course. So it is the team, the forum, which is, um, I was very, very happy and inspired when I saw Maunesh, Mr. Maunesh coming with so many students to invite me. So I said a group is, uh, a team is a group of many hands but with one mind. So I was very, very happy. I, I hardly see few of the people, you know, coming in a group to invite somebody. You may think what is special about it. It's really difficult. So putting so many people together, making a team and going anywhere is like putting frogs into a weighing pan. So I said, when this forum came together with eight or ten of them and a teacher, I said definitely this forum has a lot of abilities. So you all you have all come together, so you develop the group dynamics, the team spirit, the leadership qualities, and you know how to live with everybody. So I once again uh, wish you all the best and congratulate all of you who have uh, probably, you know, um, it's a day, uh, yeah, dream come true for all those uh, who dreamt of becoming uh, an engineer. So best of luck to all of you.